Now one thing you occasionally need to do on the command line or while you're writing scripts or programs or something like that is the ability to either generate random numbers or you know pick a, a line randomly or just do stuff that is random on the command line. So in this video I want to talk about how to do some things randomly in Linux or Bash or, or really the command line generally. There are a couple different ways and some of them are easier than others, some of them are more extensible, but I want to talk about them regardless because a lot of people will, ca I've seen people rely on uh, things they don't need to, to do stuff like this. So um, at a very basic level, uh, this, uh, we'll start with the less useful, more, I guess, abstract uh, random aspects. Now you may know that uh, a good Unix system, a good Linux system has this thing called dev u random. And if you cat it out, you're actually just going to get a whole bunch of random characters. Now, dev u random, you can look it up. I'm not going to go into the specifics of it, but let's just say that dev u random is used to generate cryptographic keys. Its entropy is very, uh, I guess, uh, taken care of, so to speak. You know, it's it's the most random you can pretty much get on a Linux system, and it's used by a lot of the the other random tools we'll talk about. So there's dev u random and also dev random. Okay. Now, anyway, let's talk about more practical tools. I mean, you're not just going to want to generate a whole bunch of characters and do something with that. Um, you probably want something more sensible like numbers or, well, anyway. Uh, so you may know, I assume that most people are using bash. And if you are, there is a special variable called random. Now, if you echo random, you are going to get a number, a random number, not just any random number. You can actually check the manual for bash. Let's do that for a second. And um, you can look it up and you'll see that what this variable does is it generates a number between 0 and 32,767. Now that, you know, practically speaking, that sounds a little arbitrary. When do I ever need a range like that? Well, how people usually use random is, um, you know, one smart little hack that people do for it is let's say we want a, a number uh, between, you know, one or, you know, we want a range of 10, basically. What we can do is we can actually do bash arithmetic and get the modulo of random by 10. And what that will do is effectively give you, so modulo, I guess most people might know, but modulo is if you divide this random number by 10, what is the remainder? So what this means in this respect is that we're going to get a number, I think, from 0 to 9. Yeah, and so effectively this is 10. Um, or if you actually want it to be able to get to 10, you can actually say, and let's let's add one to that. So I think we can get a 10. Yeah, so there's a 10. So that's a good way of random number generation as well. It's a little strange, of course, because you do need to do uh, some bash, bash arithmetic and you you can't manually specify exactly what you're doing. You're sort of doing it or beating around the bush, so to speak. But you can do it w with pretty much any kind of number. You can say, you know, a random number between one and 100 and run that over and over again. So that's one possibility, and that's usually the quicker possibility. Um, but the drawbacks are, one, it looks a little ugly, and two, it also is bash specific. So if you're using another, um, if you're using, using some other kind of uh, a shell, let's say dash, uh, which is very ugly because my PS1 is sort of funky looking, but you know, let's say you're using something like dash, if you echo random, nothing's going to happen. This is a bash specific thing. So on Linux, there is another tool that's pretty nice called shuff. Well, it's actually a command. You can look it up yourself. And I guess it's short for shuffle. I assume that that's what that's for. Um, now, of course, this is this is Linux specific. I don't think that it comes on BSD or Mac unless you specifically install the core utils. Um, but I think BSD does have an equivalent called Jot, which isn't exactly the same, but it sort of serves the same purpose. So what Shuff does, so we'll, we'll, we'll show you what Shuff does by default, and you can use it for random number generation or other stuff. But um, So I have a file on my computer um, that I, it's basically a database of emoji. Okay, so if you watch my channel, you may know I have this nice little thing. If I want to type a cake emoji, I just have this nice little window here that I can select uh, an emoji from. And it ba basically reads this file that lists out all the emoji with their uh, names. Okay, so I have this little file. Let's say I want to, well, actually, let's just run shuff on this file. 
and see what happens. What happens is it actually goes through the file, takes every line, and it puts all those lines in a, ra a random order. So all these, you know, this is not the natural order of this file. Uh, it, uh, in fact, if you cat it out, you'll see it actually ends with flags and stuff like that. But if I run shuff on it, it will put those uh, lines in a random order. So let's talk about some other things you can do here. So I can give it the in option. Let's say I only really want 10. Okay, I can get 10 of those, and it's just going to give me 10, and that's it. Or let's say we only want one. I can have one, uh, one and only one emoji. Now you might ask yourself, okay, so shuff right now, as it is, is actually just um, randomly shuffling up the, the lines in the file. It's not duplicating them. But let's say, uh, well, actually I'll give the example of numbers first. In addition to giving it files, you can also give it the I option. And let's say we want a number between 1 and 10. Um, and it's going to basically take that range from 1 and 10, and it's going to randomize that. Okay, so these are all random. And if we want only one of those, again, we can give it the in option, and we get 8. So one question you might have is that, uh, or you might notice, of course, is that it's only using each one of these numbers once. It's not like randomly drawing 1 through 10 uh, 10 times, because each of these numbers is only used once. So when we get down to here, the chance of the last number being 8 is 100%, because every other number besides 8 has been used. Um, but if we, uh, so let's say we run it with the R option, it actually, it doesn't exhaust any of the options, it just continually prints them out. So if I run, if I say I want 10 draws from 1 through 10, but I want you to repeat the numbers, because I gave it the R option, you'll see that it generates these numbers, but there are actually some duplicates. So 2 appears twice, um, 5 appears twice, there might be another one that I don't immediately see, but so if you give it the R option, it can re repeatedly draws from uh, a file. So this can be important. I mean, it all depends on what you're trying to do. If you're just trying to shuffle something up, if you're just trying to, you know, let's say give give options to someone, let's say you're doing it an experiment or something like that. Let's say you just want to give options to someone in a random order. You don't want to use the R option because you only want everything once. But if you just want to generate some random numbers, R might be a good option. Um, so let's play around with this just because why not. So as an implementation, let's say, so I mentioned a second ago, so I have this emoji file. So if I want uh, a little command that randomly generates an emoji, I can of course give it, uh, you know, one. And okay, I got the Ecuador flag, got a drum, got a zombie. Now let's actually go a little further. Let's cut out, because I only really want the emojis. So I'm going to cut out... Um, everything but the first element here. So we got this little arrows, A, B, C, D. Is that a noose or something? I, what is going on? Anyway, so I can get random emojis like this. Um, and I'll play around with it. Let's say, so I'm gonna add to my status bar up here, just cause why not? Just cause we're doing a video on it. Um, I am gonna add to my status bar this little command. Uh, I three blocks, totally forgetting where everything is. I'm gonna add an emoji. Um, a module, and I will have it run this command, shuff config emoji, and give me one, and cut out the first thing before the space, and I'll say interval equals once. Okay, so if I run that and I refresh, you will see that I now have this little check emoji here. If I click on it, because i3 blocks will update every time you, you click on it, now we have a little pink pantsuit, or no, no, that's kimono or something. So I can click through those. Actually, I should probably make it bigger, because why not? Why not? Because we're doing a video. Okay, so we can so we can click through these, or I guess since I'm using i3 blocks, I can just say interval one second, and then it's going to update every second. So now, now we have just random emojis. Now, anyway, this particular implementation, probably totally useless, unless you just want to have some fun with it. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys use something like Calsay or one of these decorative uh, things to generate stuff. And Shuffle is nice for using for that. But of course, as I said, you can also use it to generate random numbers, to generate random ranges, to shuffle them up, and really to get pretty much whatever you want. So this is, uh, I guess that's about it for this video. But uh, if you have any questions, check the manual, but you can also ask in the comments if you want. Um, and I will see you guys next time.